Leon, I guess uh, first, uh, Fresno State coming in here. Um, obviously, probably nice to have them coming in here because that's always been a tough place to play down there for you guys. What, what uh, th this year they, they've obviously uh, taken a bit of a step up. Well, you know, Rodney and his staff have done such a good job in building this program up to where it is now, and you know, they've just consistently recruited. They've consistently gotten better every year, and this is a terrific basketball team. And you know, I think when the dust settles, it's one of the top teams in the Mountain West, and uh, we had a bit of a hiccup at home against New Mexico, but what I've seen on um, film is they're one of the best teams on the West Coast. What's made them pretty good you know, so far well, this year? They, they got a lot of talent up and down their roster. They're well coached. They know their system. They've all been in their system a long time, a lot of them. And, uh, you know, they're just they're just a really, really high level basketball team. With Markel Harrison, what would make him so good? Well, you know, I always, there was a lot of comparisons, I think, between him and Garrett. And I see a lot of similarities. They're both terrific guards. They're, one-on-one, you have to stop. You can't stop. Uh, he's, he's, he's bigger than Garrett. And, you know, he shoots it, he drives. He's just a great basketball player. One of the premier, not only guards in our league, but premier in the West Coast. So, so Sean, kind of looking at the, the bigger picture, I mean, if you, if you guys kind of obviously uh, form into not just a basketball team, but a basketball program, how, how big is it to go down to Logan and get a win and, and now kind of maybe start expecting to go get wins like that, not just have them be luxuries, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, that, you know, historically speaking, that's such a tough place to play, and it always is. And, you know, we started out that game, and it was a tough place to play. And I was just really proud of our guys, the way they adjusted at halftime, and, you know, played maybe one of the better second halves we played this year. So, uh, yeah, it, it's, you know, it's great to go down there and get the win, and, you know, especially in a, against a big team that, feel like, okay, that, that gives them another home loss, and those home losses are tough to handle at, uh, in the Mountain West, because you got to hold serve at home. There's so many good, all the games are going to be close, and there's going to be so many good games. It's going to be such a fun line that separates us all, but those things are valuable. There were times early last year where you, you know, you needed Garrett to basically score three for you guys to have a chance. I mean, Dermot doesn't score, and you guys win by 15. And what does that say about this team if you're not really relying on one? Yeah, well, it, it is. It's a different team. You know. You know, we said that all along, that that's part of the have to evolve to it. And we really have evolved to that. And so, um, you know, that's a good sign when you, when you can do that. Um, it is also nice to have, you know, one guy you can pencil in every night that he's going to get some out. But this team's different, and, you know, we're adjusted to it, and we're starting to understand it, and the guys understand their roles a little better. So, you know, I think we've made our, our roles a little better. Dating back, dating back to last season, it seems like this team's done a good job of kind of focusing on the task at hand and not looking forward too much. You've been able to kind of build up win streaks, whether it's at home, whether it's in conference, yeah. things like that. What, what is, you know, have you been impressed by that and what, what's enabled oh, them to be able to do that? I, you know, I credit my staff, Coach Linder, and those guys. Uh, they, they do such a good job of just focusing in on what's important and what we have to do to get the job done next game. And, you know, we got some mature guys that hopefully understand that. And, and it's, this one Saturday is the biggest game of the year, and, and you know, hopefully our guys understand that. So B, BJ brought up Anthony uh, being able to score this last game, and I mean, we all know what kind of competitor he is, and I know they went out so great this season, and he and whatnot, but uh, I, I don't know, just uh, continuing to see him trying to come back from that, that injury, and, and does it, it, it ups and downs way on him at all, I guess. Yeah, oh, uh, absolutely, yeah. would any guy, because this, you know, any score and player like him doesn't envision scoring zero. And, you know, I mean, he envisions averaging 20 a night and good like, nights getting 40. And, uh, you know, physically, I, don't, I just think it's, it's been hard for him to, uh, he wishes he could have practiced from day one and, you know, maybe probably be more ahead of where he is now. And, but he's still a great player and he's still one of the premier players in the Mountain West. And, you know, he's, you can count on him bringing it every night. So I got to ask yesterday, you guys did practice, you had lightsabers, someone had a Darth Vader mask yeah. on. What was that all about? Really? They, they, uh, Jeremy, Jeremy posted yeah, pictures of it. <laughs> well, you know, it's the Star Wars season. We want to, you know, sometimes we got to, we're on practice number 62. We got to shake things up, get their attention a little bit. And we just, you know, we, we want to avoid drudgery. We want them to have a good time out here as, as we work hard and get better. And uh, just a little attention get it for them. Did the lightsabers, like, help, you know, increase the, de you know, defensive, you yeah, know, areas? Yeah, we're pretty long. Areas. We got <laughs> lightsabers in our hands. We're, we're a long athletic team when we have those. And I think the guys enjoy it, so that's good. So you Star Wars fan? Uh, absolutely. Right. Uh, these guys are right. They're not 
not dressing up that way. But, uh, yeah, once in a while, it's fun. Not a new alternative uniform. No, not not a new uh, the Star Wars. But I do like the blacks. We play good in those blacks. The um the. Uh, the team's ability to dunk the basketball. You know, yeah. Chandler had three in the last game. I know. I know. You, you used to joke about it. Now, now your team's able to do it. And Chandler, that his first three, I think maybe of his, of the, yeah. his career in that Utah State game. You know, do you like seeing that as a coach, being able to do those things? Well, I think you know sometimes those. You know, I always used to poo-poo it because we scored 116 points and didn't have a dunk on it in the year. But there's probably a value to showing the other team that we have athletes and we're going to attack the rim like that. And there's nothing you can do about it when they do. When those guys are up in the air like that, there's not much you can do to stop them. Uh, so yeah, it is nice to have that sense. But I, I, yeah, I don't think you know, we're an excessively athletic team, but we do have some pretty good athletes on this team. That, you know, James and Chandler that can finish above the rim and, and you know, Zach's that way too. So. I think as our athleticism improves without compromising our skill, then it's a good thing. That they're at least choosing good times to do yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. It was it good to see Chandler do it? Because he's been do doing layups, yeah. but we can see in practice he can fly. So. Oh, yeah. And that, you know, we can aim for that. And we always say that to him. He's like, hey, I don't want to dunk on him. He gets attention. It's certainly 